good morning students welcome to physics class today in physics we are going to see with the torque due to the magnetic field so what is meant by this word torque means the torque is the the torque which gives you a circular motion when you move any object inside the magnetic field so for this let us consider this to be the magnet and this to be the magnetic field so in in this magnetic field if you're going to place any object so consider that you're going to place the object in this magnetic field like this then this object will experience a force but there are two poles is it not so here is a north pole and here is a south pole this point north pole faces will experience a force and same way this point south pole will also experience a force that two force if you see those two forces are in the opposite direction it will be in if this is in the plus this will have the value of minus so this acts in the opposite direction so when this is in the opposite direction what it does is this moves the object in the circular motion and so the object if it is straight like this what happens is it begins to move in the circular motion so it begins to rotate okay finally the object will change its position so that is torque okay so we'll just see with this what are the values and what is the formula we are using so for this torque as i told you there's two two regions will experience a force is it not so that is given by the torque due to magnetic field the force experienced by the north pole and the force experienced by the south pole because there are two poles is it not the force experience is given by the general formula for force is f is equal to q into b okay so this is a formula for force f is equal to q into b if you are considering for north pole we are writing as f n is equal to q m why are you writing as q m is that is a pole strength so q m into b same way when you are writing for south pole it is f s is equal to minus when you are writing for the south pole as i told you that is in the opposite direction so we are taking minus okay now add this both f is equal to f n plus f s so if you are adding this both you will get the value to be equal to zero so this two forces values are equal to zero when two forces are equal to zero it experiences a couple okay so this is what i have told you this is a magnetic field so in this magnetic field you are considering the object here this object at this point north pole it experiences qm into b south pole it experiences minus qm into b since it is acting in the opposite direction now when you take the next one it is it implies that the net force acting on the particle is what zero as we have seen that f is equal to zero so net force is zero when the net force is zero it forms a couple couple is because of this and this it forms okay so because of that couple what happens it tends to rotate the magnet in the clockwise so this magnet will rotate in the clockwise direction so it moves like this and this point moves over this way okay so that forms your torque okay so since the net force is zero there is a couple because of that couple there is a clockwise movement of the magnet okay then next is moment of the force or the torque what is the formula for moment of the force is the moment of the force is equal to one of the force into the perpendicular distance okay so the formula for the moment of force is one of the force into the perpendicular distance first for one of the force i am writing as on because the force due to the north pole sorry this fn this fn this is a force due to the north pole then next fs which is the force due to the south pole perpendicular distance which is i am taking from the diagram that gives your perpendicular distance so let us see with the diagram now so when we see this diagram we'll have a clear view of what is a perpendicular distance so here the perpendicular distance is o 
n because from this point this is the point which we are considering as o and here the point is n this is for north pole okay so north pole we are considering this to be the distance and for south pole we are considering this to be the distance so where we are writing the north pole we will be writing as o n and where we are writing as south pole we will be writing the distance as o s okay and the force due to north pole is f n and force due to the south pole is f s yes so o n o s then instead of this force due to north pole we are writing as q m b this is again minus q m b yes now instead of this o n and o s we are going to write as l because that is the length okay now this q m b is also equal to minus q m b because Bo if you take the magnitude magnitude the minus vanishes and so qmb is equal to minus qmb okay so we get l into because this is on and this is os qmb sin theta and same way here also qmb sin theta now qm this is two values when you are adding you will get as 2l this 2l into qm can be written as what pm so pm b into sin theta since we are having a term sin theta when you are writing this in vector form we will be writing with a cross okay since we are having a sin theta we are writing with a cross okay so clear with this next is we are going to see with what are the basic terms which are involved in the magnetic field so magnetic properties first so what are all the magnetic properties is first is we are going to see with what is a magnetizing field so what is a magnetizing field is the magnetic field which is used to magnetize a sample so we can say an example this field here we have the field here so over this field this and this if you are going to bring any object so consider that we are bringing an object to this field if this is not magnetized when you bring to this field what happens is this becomes magnetized okay adu vandu magnetic properties illa nalu enago magnet a maridum so that is said to be the magnetizing field okay so the magnetic field which is used to magnetize a sample or specimen that is called as a magnetizing field and that magnetizing field is a vector quantity and it is denoted by the letter h okay so magnetizing field is denoted by h and its unit is a m power minus 1 okay so the magnetic field which is used to magnetize a sample or specimen that is called as what magnetizing field okay so clear then next is magnetic permeability so what is meant by magnetic permeability is it is a measure of ability of the material so whatever material you are considering that material ability to so there are three points which is involved in this so what are they is first it has to allow the passage of magnetic field through it so when you have any substance here that material should allow the magnetic lines through this so that is the first point allow the passage of magnetic lines so magnetic lines ena pananum adula vande pass pananum okay then next is it is the measure of capacity of the substance to take magnetization so if this is a substance so how much it can be magnetized so if you are applying with a magnetic field over this so how much it is a capacity of the substance to take magnetization so on the magnetization vandu adu evlo alavuk accept panikka mudiyum appdin paatha that is the magnetic permeability first is allow allow the passage of magnetic lines so through that through that substance how much magnetic lines can be passed so if you see how much magnetic lines can be passed that is the first one next is capacity of the substance to take magnetization magnetization evlo adala eduthukka mudiyum abindrathu then the last is degree of penetration of magnetic field through a substance so if this is a substance degree of penetration same as the first one allow the passage of magnetic field first one is allow the passage of magnetic field here is degree of penetration of magnetic field so how much degree the magnetic lines is moving okay so when you measure that that is said to be the magnetic permeability so when you see this magnetic permeability it is 
given as a paragraph but i am saying you as three points okay so what is the three points is first one it is a uh, it is to allow the passage of magnetic lines through it measure of capacity of the substance to take magnetization degree of penetration of magnetic lines through the substance okay so these are all the magnetic permeability then next is d is equal to b not plus bm b not is the magnetic induction due to the vacuum bm is due to the medium and this can be written as mu h plus mu i okay because of this b not b not can be written as mu not into h and instead of this bm we are writing as mu not into i now bring this mu not outside so if you are bringing mu not outside from this we get mu not into h plus i okay so this is the equation for the magnetic induction magnetic induction b is equal to mu not into h plus i then next is magnetic susceptibility it is defined as a ratio of intensity of magnetization to the magnetizing field so magnetic susceptibility it is defined as a ratio of edukku edukona ratio appdin pathina m divided by h idukku munadi nama vande already m divided by v nu paathom illaya small m divided by v that gives your magnetic moment capital m illaya ana idile this sorry this is intensity of magnetization magnetic moment per unit volume that is intensity of magnetization ipo in the intensity of magnetization divided by magnetizing field magnetizing field la enna antadu first day paathom illaya so adu rendu kana ratio paathona adu da enadu magnetic susceptibility so it is defined as a ratio of intensity of magnetization to the magnetizing field okay so in the formula la la neyapostingna ninga idu easy a eludidalam okay so it is defined as a ratio of intensity of magnetization to the magnetizing field okay then next is psi m so this is a magnetic susceptibility so this magnetic susceptibility can be written as psi m okay this is how you represent so this this is how you write with this this named as psi okay so psi of m which is equal to what m divided by h and when you see the unit for this it is a dimensionless quantity so it has no dimension then for isotropic medium susceptibility is taken as scalar for non isotropic medium susceptibility is taken as a tensor okay so when you are taking a isotropic this can be asked as a one mark okay for isotropic medium susceptibility is yes. so we have to write as scalar and for non isotropic susceptibility is a tensor okay so this is what is about the what are the basic properties of magnetic field okay so clear with this yes okay thank you